Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh, yes. She mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. <sighs> Are you holding your breath again? <sighs> Penny must get back to work now. Why would someone store one hat in here? Well, that's not very hospitable. Oh, goody! Someone to play with. You seem to kind of sauce. What fun this will be! For me, at least. new. Onwards, I suppose. Oh. What in the... Who's there? Revelio. survive a bit longer than the others. so far so quickly well done you might be just the playmate i've been looking for i do hope you enjoy my playground i encourage you to tell everyone about it if you make it out that is please try if you get to the end perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement i do want your shop to succeed after all what's the saying Two sides to every storm. <laughs> <laughs> 
unfortunately for you, both sides here are to my story. And you'll have to complete both to get to the end. I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Night to H3. Nighty night! <laughs> Revelio. Revelio. That wasn't too difficult. Oh, goodness! <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. I'm afraid of the dark! Does it worry you that I can see you, but you can't see me? It should. Hmm, I'd offer you a seat, but I'm rearranging the furniture. Plus, don't want you getting too comfortable for what's in store, do I? <laughs>
You've chosen the scholarly route. You'll need more than you've learned from books to best me. It's always good to have a different perspective on things. Revelio, Lumos. Perhaps I should pull the lantern into this room to cause the room to rotate again.
Lumos. Running in circles, are we? Perhaps you should retrace your steps.
clever friend appeared to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you'll want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what. I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now, and agree to give me unfettered access through the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursuant to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. <laughs> you get to shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! Anxious cat guy? But cat I mean.
once. Try seeing things from my point of view. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about that contract... I am a poltergeist of my word. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract, with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I had a feeling about you. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. Were you worried I might not return? Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased the shop, I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here.
Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. I am perfectly capable of owning a shop. But more importantly, did you not hear the bit about the dungeon? No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And according to the house elf that came with the shop, she's done this sort of thing before, repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> ah! known better than to do business with a wily student.
Ah, uh, I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Checking that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little traitor herself! I should have known it was you! Silencio. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Penny? I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest. I choose Cladwell and Brewster. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny, we'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. <laughs> 